Hello everybody, how you doing today? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel, a place to watch and talk about movies. In this movie reaction, it's actually going to be my second place Patreon winner last week. It is No Country for Old Men. I meant to get this out a day earlier and same with uh, Jackie Brown, which is coming out tomorrow. But unfortunately, you know, some school stuff came up, had to push it back a day. But so in terms of what I know about this movie, I know it's like a Western movie, which is actually great because I just watched Back to the Future 3 and I loved how they went to the wild, wild west. So I, I hope that this goes into like a main Western vibe. I think it is, so I, I'm excited to see that. And also I do know it has Javier Bardem in it, which I've only ever seen him in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men, Tell No Tales. It was probably my least favorite Pirates of the Caribbean movie, but I still liked him in it. I thought the CGI was pretty cool on his face. That's the only movie I've seen of his, so excited to check out another one of his performances. I also do know that Josh Brolin's in this movie, and I loved him as Thanos in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Uh, I also loved him in Deadpool. I know he's, um, Cable and Deadpool, so I love Josh Bolin as well. I'm excited to check out this movie. Before we do, if you guys do want to see the full-length reaction to this video or early access to my videos, consider checking out my Patreon for a link in the description bar down below. And let's just hop right into it. No country for old men. I was sheriff of this county when I was 25 years old. <laughs> Some of the old-time sheriffs never read more a gun. A lot of folks find that hard to believe. Really? As a sheriff, you don't carry one? I always like to hear about the old timers. These backgrounds are gorgeous. <laughs> These, I love it. He killed a 14 year old girl. Aww. Paper said it was a crime of passion, but he took the crime you see now, it's hard to even take its measure. Yeah. It's not that I'm afraid of it. A man would have to put his soul at hazard. You'd have to say, okay thing on him like a oxygen tank for emphysema or something well you can look at it when you get in, I'll be down there in a bit. <laughs> yes sir I got it under control oh. 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 Javier Bardem is a psycho and he's a <laughs> What does that do? Oh, he's gonna get pulled over. Oh, unless this is someone else. I thought maybe it just fast forwarded with him getting in the car, but maybe it's someone else. Yeah, it's someone else. Oh, crap. Step out of that car, please, sir. What is that? I need you to step out of the car. Hold still, please, sir. <laughs> what does it... I'm sorry, maybe <laughs> I don't know how they work, but how does that even... Oh, that's Josh Brolin. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, it's actually amazing. Like, there's barely any, like, music. For these intense scenes. It's so wide, it's so empty, I love it. Oh, he's burying the body, he's gonna find Javier Bardem, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so tense, what the hell? I thought that was him over there, but where is he? It actually adds so much tension how there's like, <laughs> there's like no sound, there's no intense music coming on. I am so not used to that. He's hiding somewhere, he's hiding somewhere. You killed the dog, you go. I hate when people kill animals. Why? Just let the dog run away. No, 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 no. Oh. I can't stop sweating. I can only tell this movie's gonna make me so jumpy. No, 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 no. It's gonna be there. Hello. 
Ain't no lobos. Don't shoot my dumb ass. That's what I'm wondering. It's like, is it he's watching him or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's gonna move. Jeez. Wait, he died and didn't... It's so simple, but seriously, like, it is so effective. Just this whole western setting with just the wide open land, it creates so much of it. Oh, he hides his guns there, okay. What's in the satchel? It's full of money. That'll be the day. Where'd you get the pistol? At the getting place. I don't even want to know where you've been all day. That'll work. What are you doing, baby? I'm going out. Going where? Well, something I forgot to do, but I'll be back. If I don't come back, you tell mother I love her. Your mother's dead, Lil Willie. What? Does he have some sort of memory problem? <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> oh. Oh, is he finding more clues? He's not in there. Oh, he's dead. The dog, no way. Oh no, oh no, you're gonna kill me. Even though I'm rooting for you, it's oh, you gotta kill the dog. Y'all getting any rain up here, way? What way would that be? I seen you was from Dallas. I didn't mean nothing by it. It didn't mean nothing. Just passing the time. It'd be something else. I don't know. Will there? Oh, he is so terrifying. What? Well, I need to see about closing him. See about closing? Yes, sir. What time do you close? Now. We close now. He's gonna do something. What time do you go to bed? Sir? You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? Why would you be coming back? We'll be closed. Yeah, you said that. This is my wife's father's place uh, originally. <laughs> Raised a family there. That's the way you want to put it. Well, I don't have some way to put it. That's the way it is. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? You ever lost on a coin toss? I don't know. I couldn't say. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, uh, what? Are you gonna kill him? Are you gonna do a Harvey Dent? I can't call it for you. Well, it wouldn't be fair. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. In your life. Oh, the <laughs> damn. Heads in. Well done. <laughs> Don't put it in your pocket, sir. I am in complete and utter shock. That that scene. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That scene was truly an experience. Don't fall down apologizing. Is he even gonna be connected with Javier Bardem? Because I thought he was gonna go looking for him, but it seems like that he's escaping from other people. Oh, he's part of the same group, yeah. You getting anything on this? Not a bleep. All right, give me that. Oh! 
Yeah, he has no friends. He will kill anybody. I thought in the beginning he was gonna kill them, but then when he didn't, I was like, okay, so he must have a coup in France, but no, he has no friends. The old boy shot by the highway. Yes, sir, his vehicle. Yeah, so, so they know what he did. For God knows. <laughs> they were on top of it. That's very linear, Sheriff. Somebody's probably the inspection plate off the door on this one. I know this truck. So there, <laughs> that's so, it's done so well. So they're just chasing Javier Bardem and Javier Bardem's chasing Josh Brolin. Oh, oh hell you gotta no. show that. Dog. I think we're looking at more than one fracas. Yep. Execution here, Wild West over there. <laughs> I love it. Is that his place? No, no, no. No, do not. Do not. <laughs> It's home. He's just gonna relax there until they show up. Oh my. <laughs> he really is selling this role so well. Where does he work? I can't say. Where does he work? Oh, just so tell him, just tell him. We were to give out no information about our residents. We can't give out no information. Oh, he's not gonna kill it when someone else is here. Mama's gonna raise hell. Mm -hmm. She's just gonna cuss you up and down. Well, you should be used to that. You're coming back, ain't you? Oh, he's sending her away. I shall return. Looking for a man who has recently drunk milk. He's gonna be right behind them. He's gonna be right behind them. You think this boy Moss has got any notion of the sorts of sons of bitches that are hunting him? Oh, oh. He's seen the same things I've seen, and it certainly made an impression on me. Oh, <laughs> this movie, honestly, I keep, I'm sorry, I keep thinking that there's going to be pop-outs. Maybe there's not. Oh, <laughs> just make sure it goes all the way back smart, so you can't even see it. There's no well in there. Expect him. He's so calm when he talks, it makes it so much more intimidating. I mean, terrifying. Stop. Just ride me up past those rooms. What room? No, just drive me around. I want to see if someone's here. Why well, don't just set he you down there. right here and we won't argue about he it? He is there. The curtains are open. Take me to another motel. Let's just call the school. Why? No, sir. He said entry wound in the forehead. It's not a bullet. <laughs> it's his little tank thing, whatever that tank thing is. 12 gauge. You need shells? Yeah, double O. I'm about uh, 38. Well, you can have the one right next to yours if you want. Number 137, hit ain't took. No, 38 will be fine. Oh, because that's the one where you can still get it through the vent. What tells? Okay, I was still a little bit unsure of its of its functionality. Okay, <laughs> free HBO. <laughs> He's gonna go in. <laughs> He's not gonna be there. Oh. He's not even looking behind me. He's just so. <laughs> Which one did he get? They're gonna see each other through the vents. He's gonna find out. He is gonna find out. No, 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 not the flashlight. <laughs> Just walks in his socks. He's not gonna, he's gonna kill him, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. 
I was like, really, you're gonna let him stay? Of course not. You're not gonna let them live. He's gonna notice the vent. He's gonna notice it. <laughs> he already got it. Doing what? Hitchhiking. Yeah, sure. I know him every which way. Oh, <gasps> Woody Harrelson's in this movie. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Killed three men in Del Rio Motel yesterday and two others in that colossal goat fuck out in the desert. We'll look into it. I hope he's the one to take Javier Bardem down. As much as I would love Josh Brolin to do it, I would love for Woody Hilson to just be that, <laughs> to be that guy. There's someone who's been looking for me, not police. You just call me if anyone else checks in tonight. And by anyone, I mean any swinging dick. Yeah, and how do you even sleep? There just ain't no way. Bunch of ones? Oh, there it is. Yes, break it, break it. No, he's here. You gotta run, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta run, you gotta do something. Yep, you're ready for him. <laughs> you're ready for him. It's him, it's him, you hear the fucking blinking. Why didn't you throw it out the window or something? Oh, no way, no way, no way. He's doing something, he's doing something. Holy shit. Holy crap. Oh. oh. Run. He got shot. No, I thought he missed him. Okay guys, I also turned off the subtitles. I'm not. <laughs> the subtitles are getting way off. I need you to drive me on out of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, behind, behind him. Where is he? Oh. oh! Damn it. You cannot go on foot. He just, he just walks so slowly and everything. Don't go in the alley. It's okay, he doesn't have a gun. He took his gun. Oh no, you're gonna get him angry. Don't get him angry. Oh good. Thank you. You're throwing it? He's going to Mexico. Yeah, they're like, crap, you're hurt. So naturally. Oh no, he's gonna fix it himself. Buenos dias. 
I'm guessing this isn't the future you had pictured for yourself when you first clapped eyes on that money. His name's Chigurh. Sugar. Sugar. Anton Sugar. It's called a transponder. I know what it's called. Look, you gotta give me this money. You can't make a deal with him. Even if you gave him the money back, he'd still kill you just for inconveniencing him. But he already gave the money away. Oh, he's gonna find the money. Ha <laughs> ha, he sees it, yep. Hello, Carson. Let's go to your room. No, not Carson. You don't have to do this. I know where the satchel is. If you knew you would have it with you. No, he find does. Find it for something better. What's that? I know what it's going to be. It will be brought to me. You go to hell. Don't mm. kill him, don't kill him. Do you have any idea how crazy you are? You... Oh, God! <laughs> no, oh, I knew he was gonna kill him. Who is this? You know who it is. You're in the hospital across the river, but that's not where I'm going. He's going to his wife. You bring me the money and I let her go. Otherwise, she's a condom. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you something, all right? I decided to make you a special project of mine. You ain't gonna have to come look for me at all. Why wouldn't you save your wife, though? A couple out in California. They rent out rooms to old people, kill them, bury them in the yard, cash their social security checks. Neighbors were alerted when a man ran from the premises wearing only a dog collar. If I get sensible answers, then they get to go to America. And if I don't get sensible answers, they don't. Anything about that you don't understand? No, sir. Then I ask you again, how you come to be out here with no clothes? Well, I got an overcoat on. <laughs> 12th Infantry Battalion, uh, August 7, 1966, July 2nd, 1968. Get someone to help this man. He needs to get into town. <laughs> yes. Oh, he got his cash back. But now RDM's no, gonna see. You. Or no, find out. <laughs> He's gonna confront him. Well, look, I want you to meet me at the Desert Sands Motel in El Paso. With you gone and I don't have the money, he can't touch me, but I can sure touch him. Oh, that thing really always gets me. He honestly just does not give two shits. Who are you? He felt that the more people looking... That's foolish. You pick the one right tool. Are you going to shoot me? Yeah. Do you see me? Say no, say no, say no. I always say no and good. Here we are. What is gonna happen? He's gonna hit them or something. I swear, I did not expect to constantly be feared and be scared throughout this entire freaking movie. Mama. Well, I didn't see it. Well, I put it in, that one. Oh, thank God, there is one gentleman left in West Texas. Yes, thank you, I am old and I am not well. Oh, they're gonna that a true kidnap story his about mother. Charlie Walzer? Who's Charlie Walzer? Oh, is that him? No, 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 no. You from around here? Yeah, Alpine, born and bred. Here you go. What airport would you use? You might could be better off just driving to Dallas. He's Not gonna shoot him as he's annoying him. Can you get those chicken grates out of the bed? Oh, of course. Oh, I'm uh, I'm waiting on my wife. Oh. That gunshots already? Oh, no way, no way. Call the police. No, you are joking. No, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Zero chance. No. Unbelievable. I, how? How could he die? He shoots a desk clerk one day, walks right back in the next and shoots a retired army colonel. How do you defend against it? You can. How yeah. do you beat him? 
Oh, because he might be coming back. Well, the wife's not there, right? The wife moved places. Don't go in, don't go in. He's probably, <gasps> he's waiting. Please don't, please don't. Your granddad never asked me to sign on as a deputy. Loretta tells me you're quitting. How come you're doing that? I don't know. You can't stop what's coming. Oh, no, it's mom. Oh, no. But I gave my word. You gave your word? To your husband. Not like that. Not like you say. You don't have to do this. People always say the same. I know exactly what was in store for me. Call it. No. Why not? You might, you might live. Well, I got here the same way the coin did. He killed her? <laughs> don't, 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 don't kill them. Oh, hell, mister. I give you my shirt. Look at that fucking bow. Stop. Of this one. You still got your damn shirt. I not even what it was for. Well, maybe, but I'm still out of shirt. I'm so confused. You just... Oh, you be tired. Maybe I'll help out here then. Uh, better not. Both had my father in them. It's peculiar. I'm older now than he ever was by 20 years. So, I knew that whenever I got there, he'd be there. And then I woke up. Okay guys, so that was the end of me watching No Country for Old Men for the first time. Um, this movie to me felt like such an intense thriller that it was like a horror movie at times. I'm serious when I say like, Javier Bardem, I, I, I might have nightmares about this. Like he honestly freaked me out so much in, in almost every scene he was in. The fact that he was so calm and just so in control. It just, it actually blew my mind. And he by far was the standout performance in this movie for me. Like, I don't know, Woody Harrelson and Josh, Josh Bolin was a little bit better than Woody Harrelson for me. But like, even Josh Bolin, I just do not even think he was comparable to Javier Bardem. Like, he stole this movie. And he, he inflicted such fear on me that I honestly, like, I, I, I've been sweating this entire movie and I just, I was getting so scared. I'm sorry for keep putting my hands over my face. Like I actually was terrified at so many moments in this movie. I just had no idea what was going to happen. And just that constant, just no music during these intense scenes. And it's so slow build up, but it's just, it's so intense. Cause when you're watching it, you're just, you're sitting there with just anticipation. Just I'm at the edge of my seat, just like for three to four minutes waiting for this to happen. Just my, my thoughts just build up and it's just, it's actually, it's remarkable. Like it really is. These are the types of movies I just adore is like these mind fuck movies. And this, this movie was like, it wasn't really a mind fuck in terms of like a complicated plot, but it was just. It was so fascinating to see just this, <laughs> to see just this character come out of Javier Bardem that he's just, he's such an evil person, but also he's a man of his word and like he does honor his word. He has certain attributes, which, you know, people would find respectable, but he's just, he's such a vile man and just his lack of humanity. Very hard to see, honestly, at times, especially when like the dog, the dog deaths too. I was like, oh, why'd you have to show the dog deaths? I just don't know why you had to show it. Uh, there, there was probably a lot of deep meetings in this movie I missed. I'm going to be honest. Like I, I tried, 
But there were certain parts where I was just still so shocked from the previous scenes that some scenes I just could not grasp and pay attention to as much as I probably should have. So definitely requires a rewatch for me. Um, I'd probably give this movie honestly an eight and a half. Uh, I did not like the dog dying, and also there was maybe one or two scenes I feel like just just everything with Javier Bardem and even just with Josh Brolin, like there were so many just intense scenes that going from that to the felt a little bit underwhelming at times. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, this movie definitely, in terms of the pacing, I do not think it was perfect, but I think in terms of just like the shots they used and also just the scenery, I thought it was near perfection. So, lots of great things about this movie. Um, I really did like the ability that they did with barely using any sound to make these scenes intense like it actually made it more intense for me the fact that there was a lack of music and also just the calm nature of, of Javier Bardem like I cannot stress that enough that really made me frightened in so many scenes thank you so much to my patrons for choosing this movie and next movie is going to be Jackie Brown so stay tuned for that 